Hey everyone, it's Tom Johnston. I've been doing a little bit of thinking lately. When it comes to ideas and religion and ideologies, um, we tend to not allow our ideas to cross-pollinate with other ideas. Our belief systems are very stagnant. They're not evolving. They're just kind of like, you do you over there, but my belief system's right, you're wrong, and vice versa. And we don't allow the ideas to actually better each other while dissolving the bad of each. Uh, when we look in nature, it's very obvious that cross-pollination is great for the species. It allows them to get um, be more uh, resistant to disease, um, have less problems physically, like dogs, if they uh, are breed too much in the same family. Um, they're going to have hip problems, but if you actually breed multiple dogs together over time, they're going to be healthier and take the best traits of all of the breeds and get rid of the worst traits of all the breeds. But when it comes to our ideas, we don't allow them to reproduce. So even when it could be like a man and a woman have a baby, you got a man's full DNA, you got the woman's full DNA, but the baby is still only half of each. So you're never giving your full 100% to the, the offspring. Um, yet when it comes to our ideas, we want to hold on to our 100% or this 100%, but really what we should be doing, Jesus said, where the two become one, that's where the kingdom of heaven is. So the narrow is the path, the extreme, like this is right, this is wrong, or this is wrong, this is right. That's the broad path. The narrow path is where things actually get to crossbreed with each other. So like Christianity, there's a lot of beauty in there. There's, um, it evolves from law to grace, to from scarcity to abundance. Um, Eastern religion has a lot of truth to it. Buddhism has a lot of truth to it. Um, but when we say one is false and the other one's true, or one is 100% true, which is a very crazy thing to think, um, it's not crazy, I'm sorry, but it, 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 it's not go there. Um, but when you allow both ideologies, East and West, to actually work together, even Christianity and atheism, I think there's a room for conscious evolution, um, as opposed to survival of the fittest and um, only through mutations by accident. Um, I know there's just a lot of cross play you can see in the world to where the ideas can breed and get rid of the bad of each and create a new one where there's a whole nother paradigm shift above where it currently was. So like, then you're no longer fighting about the stupidity of nuances and you're really just like, oh, what is the true essence of this? What is the true essence of this? Are these things helpful? Great, let's combine them and actually breed a new paradigm, a new shift. Um, we've been doing things for thousands of years and we're still in this state of duality where we keep everything separate um, not allowing them to breed and create a new life. So if we're going to bring the kingdom of heaven to earth, enter the new millennium, I mean, we're about to end 2020, uh, we're going to need some new paradigms that did not exist. They were always right in front of us, but we really truly need to do the narrow path and see both sides, Democrat, Republican, Christian, atheist, Eastern religion versus Western. It really, really doesn't matter. Like, even like the Black Lives Matter versus Cops Lives Matter, it's both, it's both. Like we, we need not be so dualistic and cops need better pay, not defunding. We need to choose better people. We need to give them better training. Um, and we need to be more aware of the things that are going on in the world. It's both, it's, we don't need to live in the extreme. So just throwing out there, if you have an idea, don't hold your idea as the way, truth in life. Like just, there's more, there needs to be a cohesive unity consciousness that allows for all the ideas to actually crossbreed with each other and benefit each other and give nutrients to each other and allow the bad of each ideology to detox. I think that's about it. All right, thanks guys, have a good day.